Stock number 17-098. This is a 2018 Lance 1995. It's a great camper, lightweight, uh, got some great upgrades. Smart Jack up there remembers the uh, hitch height. It's uh, lighted and powered and backlit. Uh, three propane tanks, or 320s up there, so you got 60 pounds worth of propane, so you're never going to run out. Nice rock guard, uh, TPO, stargazer window up front. You got a place for two batteries, one on each side. That's a battery compartment there. Also, the camper is equipped with power jacks, and they have four buttons, so you can control each one independently. That's a really nice feature as well. This is a full width storage bin. You can get to those hard to reach places inside your pass through storage without having to go up inside of it. It's also got a light in there so you can easily unpack anything you need in there at nighttime. You got slam latch doors, magnetized, keeps it up there. Frameless windows, you got a carefree, a Colorado smart awning. It's actually going to automatically retract itself if it gets too windy, um, which is a really nice feature in case you forget it's out and the wind comes up. You got easy access to all your appliances inside, including your refrigerator, your furnace. You have a locked potable water. Nobody can tamper with your fresh water supply. There's 110 outlets and uh, cable and satellite outputs there. You can watch some TV outside. We've got the patio awning out, listening to Jimmy Buffett and sipping a pina colada. Nitrogen filled tires, independent rubberized torsion axle suspension is going to give you a real nice uh, pull. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to tow real true going down the road. You got a rear entry, which is really nice. The uh, entrance is actually going to stay away from the bed. Most people don't like the entry being right there by the bed. You open up the door, somebody's walking by, and they see your wife in there. It's not going to be a good thing. Oversized entry assist handle, uh, easy in, easy out. You got a four-season camper, so that means it's got uh, enclosed underbelly. It's got heated holding tanks, thermal pane windows. If you're, if you're happy inside the camp, you're comfortable with the temperature, the underbelly is going to be as well. You got a really solid roof ladder there. It's going to go all the way up. The ladder is a walkable roof. It's going to get you up there for once a year routine maintenance. You know, make sure the caulk isn't getting brittle from the from the sun degrading. You know, get up there with a caulk gun if you need to. Um, you know, caulk around the AC, all your vents. Keep that roof in good shape. You got a backup camera. A lot of people might have a hard time backing up. Well, that backup camera is going to going to be really nice for you. Uh, four by four bumper, you can house your sewer hose. Uh, you also have your water heater, which is both gas or electric, which is a great feature. You don't have to use your expensive propane to heat the, the water. You can actually use the campground's electricity, which is something you're already paying for. You have an exterior hot and cold shower, uh, black water tank flush. It's going to clean out your black water tank so you got a fresh camper the next trip. You have a city water connection right there on the bottom left. You also have the cable and satellite input. Uh, just above it with a 30 amp service plug-in right there. Schwintech gearing on the slide mechanisms. And notice how deep that is. That's going to provide you with an awful lot of space once you're inside the camper. Also has a slide topper, uh, two-fold. It's going to keep uh, an extra protection for rain. If it's raining, it's not going to get a, uh, inside the, uh, the camper. It's also going to protect the top of the slide out from any kind of um, branches, twigs, uh, any, any kind of debris up there, once you bring your slide in, it's going to compromise the integrity of it if you did not have that slide topper. You also have a nice uh, additional storage on the outside that's actually underneath the uh, center of the uh, center cushion of that dinette booth, uh, which is a really nice feature as well. Um, once again, Schwintech gearing up and down, a little computer inside there that will detect whether one side's coming in too fast or too slow and automatically correct for you. Again, this is the other side. There's your uh, bottom is going to be your um, stabilizer jack controllers, two buttons there. Again, they're independent. You got four switches, another place for a second battery, uh, which you can tie them into each other, and you're good to go. All right, let's take a look on the inside. Now, the camper only weighs 4,627 pounds, so you can pull this with most tow vehicles on the market today. You've got a ton of storage. When you first walk in, you've got a hanging, uh, hanging closet, you know, you ballroom gowns, dresses, coats, anything you need to, plus a bunch of different drawers and a pantry for your non-perishables. Now, doing a pan around, you're going to see the U-shaped dinette. The interior uh, color in this one is actually Roadster. Uh, it's got a really nice dimmer switch just above the dinette. 
rear walk it, walk around queen bed as a stationary. That is not one of the sofa options. So um, it's a stationary bed with storage just below. You got shelves on both sides of the bed area. You also have really nice um, countertops there. You can plug in your alarm clock, you glass of water. It's got phone charging ports as well. Day night shades throughout. You got LED reading lights on both sides in case you want to read while while you're unwinding from your busy day laying in bed. Fantastic fan. You're looking at about 980 cubic feet of airflow circulation. So a lot of the times you don't have to run your air conditioner. You're just going to get some airflow going, so it save you a little bit of money on electricity if you're paying for it. Uh, this is a Jensen flat screen television. It's on the swing out, uh, swing out bracket. You can watch it from in bed at night, or you can watch it from the dinette. You got a clear vantage point from the dinette when you're eating. Stainless steel upgrades in the kitchen area. You got the uh, Norcold refrigerator freezer combination. It's a five setting, so your milk's not going to freeze. Your ice cream's going to stay frozen. Good feature. Three burner cooktop. You got a nice big oven there. You got storage down below. Sink covers. You got storage above. Microwave. Hood range. Easy to read control monitor here. You can monitor all your tank levels, your propane. Uh, you can monitor your battery charge and see exactly what your what your tank uh, tank capacities are. Um, this camper is equipped with solar panel. It's going to constantly charge your 12 volt system. 12 volt system is going to run all of your lighting in here, your television, uh, your multimedia center, which is a CD, DVD, MP3. It's uh, Bluetooth capable. And there it is right there. And of course, once you walk in, you want all the controls for your lighting, your slide out, um, your, your awning, right at your fingertips. When the slide's in, you can access everything in the camper, including the refrigerator, the bedroom, and the bathroom, which is also a great feature. You got a skylight. Um, every single one of these uh, fans and skylights uh, have insulated hatch covers, which really makes it a true four-season camper. The construction of Lance, they use um, a material called Asdel. It's a composite material inside the walls, and you got double layers. A lot of people don't realize that in the heat of the summer, you got that AC kicking, and its uh, interior walls are going to sweat. So, you know, regular people use Luon, which is a wood, and if it gets wet, it's not good. It's going to start to bacterialize. You got mold, you got rot, you got mildew going on. Not so in the lance because they use that Asdel. Uh, it just doesn't, it just doesn't, uh, when it gets wet, it just doesn't bacterialize. It's safe. Um, thermostatically control, wall mounted air conditioner, which means the air conditioner is going to cycle just like your house. It's going to kick on, kick off. If ever you see knobs on top of an air conditioner, uh, actual unit itself, uh, the compressor is the only thing that's kicking on and off. The fan is going to continuously run. So that's another great feature. So beautiful camper, 1995. Uh, that is the uh, Lance 1995, 2018 brand spanking new Roadster interior. My name is Frank. This is Ocean Grove RV. We're located in St. Augustine, Florida. We are on the corner of State Road 206 and U.S. Highway 1. If you want to see this camper in person, give me a shout. We'll set up a day and a time, and I will show it to you, and hopefully you'll buy it. Thanks for watching.